So I've been thinking about kind of how the energy of 2020 has been for really, you know, a lot of us, most of us, um, so far this month. And I was thinking this morning about how my guides had me do all that writing and creating meditations and videos and whatnot all about vibration and frequency and kind of how it's connected to the ascension process last month. So I went back and reread it to remind myself <laughs> some of the details. And it's really interesting because last night I got this like stabbing pain right in between my shoulder blades out of nowhere. And I was like, I wonder what the Schumann resonance is doing right now. I'm going to start every time like these weird things happen, um, checking the Schumann resonance. Now, the problem is, at least if you guys know of a live place to look at it, let me know. But um, there's a lag time. So when I looked at it last night, like nothing was going on. And then I definitely traveled in my dreams last night. And so I checked again this morning. And sure enough, it was like heavy duty um, Schumann resonance spikes overnight. So no surprise that I was feeling physical effects or that I was astral traveling. So what happens with the Schumann resonance um, or solar flares is that it's like this increased light and energy coming into the earth and it like shakes up our vibration. And it's what it's actually doing is stirring up and loosening up and pushing us to release any low vibrational stuff that is uh, still in our body so that we can shift our vibration and shift to a higher frequency. So when the Schumann resonance is going crazy, like that's why we're feeling these heavy duty effects because we're all getting pushed to um, awaken, to release things we don't need anymore. Like that's what the earth is doing. It's helping us to release that energy. Um, but it means that we're feeling it pretty um, heavy duty kind of all at the same time. And I'm guessing that you guys have been feeling it too. Um, yesterday was quiet for the Schumann resonance, but Thursday, Friday, Saturday were very busy. And then overnight last night was very busy. So um, all kind of around this new moon. So the other interesting part about all of this is that what happened yesterday with that helicopter crash was that people around the world simultaneously opened their heart chakras. And whether they did it consciously or not, in sending love or feeling compassion for the family members of uh, the people who are in the crash, we collectively opened our hearts all at the same time. And so if I can look at it somewhat from a neutral position, because, you know, obviously it's incredibly tragic and sad, but what I wonder is, you know, when you hear things like this year is going to be a massive awakening year, um, you know, then you start saying, but how, how will that happen? And then you see situations like this and you go, oh, that's kind of interesting that something specific happened. And I'm not saying that the crash happened so that people could awaken. I'm just saying that situations that may have happened anyway, um, are being noticed and felt in a different way. And I think it's going to help raise either the consciousness or the awareness or just like the heart feeling center that people have maybe been disconnected from. So I've been actually feeling pretty good since Friday, but I think it's going to be a good thing to remember when we're having either mystery symptoms or, you know, short-lived illnesses or, like I said, just a weird stabbing pain that showed up out of nowhere in my back. Um, the, this is the earth literally shaking things out of our bodies. So um, take it easy on yourself. <laughs> Drink a lot of water. Rest. Do your best to release and look around and see if there's something that you know is asking to be released at this time um, that you can work on letting go of because that's what you're being challenged to do in that time. So um, on a lighter note, 
this morning when I kind of tuned in and asked, like, how can I be of service today? The message I actually got was play, to go play. And so um, that's why I was out walking. And I've kind of just actually had kind of a weird day. I've worked a little bit, but I've, like, wandered around quite a bit. I've gotten to Kalispell. I've gone to Big Fork. And, yeah, I worked all weekend. So apparently today was a day for play. So I will talk to you guys later. Oh wait, I just had one more thought on this collective heart opening thing. I think it's important that we experience how it feels for us to collectively open our hearts. But what would it take for us to do that in joy instead of in pain? And I don't know what the answer to that is. Like what would have to happen collectively on the earth for us to all simultaneously open our hearts like in pure joy? Can you imagine what would happen? What the vibration would feel like? I just started thinking about that. Let's all meditate on that. Maybe it'll manifest itself sooner rather than later.